Hey, Philip Dunn from philipdunngallery.com. I'm an artist here in Newport Beach, Corona Del Mar, and I am talking about a painting of a local spot that I did. I finished it maybe three months ago. And so if you notice, if you're a local, you will see where this is. This is the drugstore on Maine and Peninsula. You got the beach out here. That would be North. Anyway, I like painting kind of landmark type spots in Balboa. That should say Maine, but it says Womp Street because that's what I spent a lot of time down here at A Street and B Street body surfing, not only as a kid, but when my kids got into the junior arts program here in Newport Beach, I would go to the hot dog dinners here at A Street next to the pier in Balboa and my kids and I would body surf there all the time. And it was so cool because we'd be in the water, body surfing out of the water, playing with all the fun lifeguard stuff, eating hot dogs, um, doing all the contests and the goofy stuff that happens there. So super fun. Anyway, this is a nostalgic place for me because I love that drugstore. I love the look of it. When I got that reference fro photo, the sky was brilliant. This is obviously an impression of it. We've got little bit of industrial with the street lights and there's a funny security camera there, which is a modern touch green light and the focus really being on the sign. And I'm in love with old neon and, uh, kind of classic vintage signs. One of them that I really loved in uh, Costa Mesa, I grew up in Costa Mesa. So the one I really was Baycrest liquor. I, I have yet to find the best photos of that. Because I think maybe 20 or 25 years ago, they took down the neon sign, the Art Deco-ish. I don't want to say Art Deco, but this kind of style. And they took it down probably 20, 25 years ago. You may know. Let me know in the comments if you have a photo of Baycrest Liquor on 17th Street. And I will try to paint that. But that's one I really love. I love the way the Elks Club looks down on the peninsula in Lido Village. I love the way Kona Lanes looks in Costa Mesa. So I'm going to, I'm going to start painting those, but with an eye for nostalgia and art in landmark areas of Newport beach, Corona del Mar, I'm do the port theater. I probably will take a shot at the corker. It's very simple, the corker liquor, but there used to be Papa's liquor too on Marguerite and coast highway and Corona del Mar it used to be fantastic. The sign there was amazing and they, that's so weird. They just dumbed down these signs and they put in lesser, maybe they're somehow they work better for people driving by and, but I don't know. I think there's nothing that draws you in those old neon decorative, stylish, vintage seventies, fifties, sixties signs where an artist really worked on the way the sign looked. And I may take a shot at Lakov cause I love that the way that looks and that's iconic. So I'm going to get together a portfolio of local paintings that give impressions of the way things used to be and the way things are now, just so we can anchor a little bit of history in the area. And, and I'll keep making videos like these with one-offs because I have three, four, five other paintings. One's of Newport Harbor. One is of A Street Balboa Pier that I've done. I have several and some have sold, some are still here. Some are nature scenes, which are iconic and landmarks as well. I'll have plenty of those and I've already banded them, but I'll have plenty more coming too. In any event, please, if you have ideas for spots that you would love to see impressions of in my style, I would love to hear about it in the comments or send me a message directly. I'm uh, Philip Dunn art on Instagram, or you, I think you can message me here through YouTube as well, but be sure to subscribe to the channel, come back and see what I'm doing because I'm going to update mainly YouTube and longer form video like this. And I think I'd like to release stuff in on YouTube first with a little more discussion and background, because I find Instagram is just so bite-sized that to get anyone to watch, it seemed like you have to have some really jazzy hook and I just, long form is easier for me. I really like giving history and background about 
places in Newport Beach, Florida Del Mar, Costa Mesa. And I think I'll, I'll dabble in Laguna Beach too, because I more a day tripper down to Laguna. And so I have a lot of, a lot of places down there are close to my heart. I'm just don't feel like as much of a local there, but I certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much.